Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Lucy here. I am joined by Cam. Hey, Lucy. How you doing? I am good. I am especially good, actually, because today, of course, the new Star Wars uh, The Force Awakens trailer dropped, yeah. and I am really excited it's about cool. it. It's, it's super a, cool. It's, it's a great trailer. It's a super meaty trailer as mm. well. I mean, I know, obviously, it's the, it's the, it's the final one, so it was always going to go out with a bang. But um, There's a lot to digest here. There's a hell of a lot to a digest. A lot we're going to try and get to. Yep. Some stuff we don't really know about. Yep. And probably some big stuff that we miss as well. But Exactly. And, you know, as per always with um, our rewinds, if there is anything that we've missed, let us know because we want to basically just dissect this thing until there's nothing left but like brittle bones. <laughs> until we've ruined this film for ourselves, <laughs> we are not going to be happy, damn it. All right. Well, you know, let's let's start. I mean, this this the the trailer starts off really strong. It starts on a kind of a a mellow sort of quiet note, which mm. I like. So, mm. obviously what what we've got here is we've got Ray uh and she is exploring what we are at this point presuming is the fallen star destroyer yep. uh, from the second teaser? Uh, Which could there possibly? If you're a scavenger, could there possibly be any greater spoil to explore and try and pick clean than a downed star destroyer? I don't think so. I think for her, this is like a really big, thrilling discovery. Yep. And you know, another little, uh, another little sort of nostalgic nod here. I mean, she's she's wearing a Tuscan Raider outfit, which in some ways evokes Princess Leia's um, bounty mm. hunter. Outfit in, 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 in Return of the Jedi. Yeah, it's, de- it's definitely a, a nod to that. Yeah, and whether there is a more, mm, let's say, pertinent link there, <laughs> uh, that remains to be seen. But which, it's, yeah, uh, which may also be explored a little bit more later in the trailer as well. Absolutely, so. and it's, it's enjoyable to speculate. Um, now, we're getting a voiceover as we move forward, um, basically asking, who are you? Yep. Uh, and in not not a very nice way. Either. No, in a in a kind of a brash way. Yeah. Um, and what I like about this is that it it's it's very mysterious. But uh, we've we've done a little bit of research. We've done a little bit of digging, and we have come to the conclusion that this is actually Maz Kanata, mm-hmm. uh, played by Lapita Nyong'o. Now we haven't actually seen her yet. Mm. We've seen her on the poster, but we haven't sort of seen. She's a fully mo capped character. That's She's right, a pirate. Yeah. Um, so yes, that's that's an interesting little relationship. I'm not quite sure how they are going to meet and what their dynamic is going to be. But it definitely seems like Maz Kanata is 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 very heavily involved, or at least her castle um, kind of fort, where, which is like a home for rogues and uh, yeah. and, and travelers and stuff uh, across the galaxy, seems to come into play later in this trailer. So there's yeah, I mean there's. A lot going on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, of course, uh, Ray responds, I am no one, uh, which touches on themes of humble beginnings, which we will uh, get to in a little bit. Now, this is interesting because, uh, you know, we've we've always sort of assumed that BB-8 was from the very beginning posed droid. Right. Uh, but, you know, it's quite interesting seeing them uh, both here on Jakku. I mean, I like this and I, I do like that they have... From a very early point on in the film, it looks like they've got a, a very sort of close relationship, which is nice. All right, moving on. This is an interesting scene. So this scene is particularly interesting because we were we were debating a lot about what this scene actually um, meant and mm. what she was seeing, what kind of ship she was seeing in the sky. And I think this this is a ship we actually haven't seen before. Yeah. Um, but I think that's kind of irrelevant. I think the importance of this particular shot is that it's sort of it's sort of conveying Ray's sense of unease and wanting to get off world and, yep. and you know that uh, wanting to feeling trapped wanting feeling trapped and, and wanting a, a sense of purpose and and and, and it's a excitement classic, it's a classic Skywalker kind of moment well it is it is and it, you know it, and maybe maybe it's some kind of transport I mean maybe maybe it's more literal than that maybe it's her seeing something that could actually take her off the planet yeah yeah, yeah. um. You know, and then into Han Solo. I don't know. Who can say? <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, we've got a, the, the the sort of the real indication of that is by that slight smile that plays on her face. Yeah, in I agree. Shot. I, I think that's kind of the key. Is like that's the the this wistful kind of dream like she's yeah she's imagining what her future could be. I guess. Okay, so now we're back on 
the Star Killer Base. Mm-hmm. Uh, once again, I mean, we've seen this this that sort shot of before. this shot before this mm-hmm. area before, but once again, just really hammering home just how sort of Nazi ish <laughs> the First yeah. Order is. Yeah, big time. Uh, or in this case, neo Nazis. Let's be honest. All right, so here we have Finn. I mean, this is not the first time we've seen him in his Stormtrooper outfit. Um, but this is certainly the first time that we've kind of got more of a, a sense of just how lost he is yeah. now he's lacking the purpose that he had when he was a Stormtrooper. So he's he's saying, I was raised to do one thing, meaning he was raised to, to, to fight as mm. a Stormtrooper. Um, you know, and, and, and again, we cut to this next shot, which is of this new TIE fighter, the new model, uh, sort of crashing, mm. essentially, um, which, you know, basically suggests uh, going back to the second uh, teaser where we see that TIE fighter firing at stormtroopers from within, from within yep. suggesting that he escaped. And he, you know, tried to get out of there cleanly, mm. but things weren't didn't quite go uh, uh, to plan, essentially. So whether they're looking for him or whether they think he's dead, you know, is, is hard to say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But he certainly seems to, to find himself uh, on Jakku, uh, just ripe to meet up with Ray. That's it. Uh, okay, so here we see Finn uh, kind of overlooking some kind of settlement on Jakku, not too sure, like, when this happens in relation to that. You remember that shot from one of the previous trailers where he's in his Stormtrooper gear and he kind of stands up suddenly looking shocked. Like, to me, I interpreted that as... Like, I now interpret that as... Uh, that's immediately after he crashed lands, Yeah, yeah. Right? And so, clearly, it was a crash landing. It wasn't a smooth landing for him at all. I mean, in this shot, you can see he's kind of looking all dusty and exhausted and he... he clearly doesn't really know where he's headed. But is this what a Stormtrooper wears under their outfit? Well, I, I don't guess, think it is. I guess it is. Maybe. I guess it is. Well, that's a, that's a bit of a revelation for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think that the Stormtroopers landing in the first trailer are probably there now hunting him down. Totally. So at this point, yeah. he's really trying to escape and find some kind of a, a friendly figure to, to tag along with. Cool. So this is interesting. I mean, I when I first saw this, I pre- I assumed that it was Star Killer Base, but I I actually on second thought, I I, I don't think it is. No, I, I don't think, think that so. this is be- maybe Kylo Ren's uh, command deck or viewing platform. Well, he's got this command shuttle. Well, this command shuttle. Yeah. This kind of feels a bit grander than that to me. I mean, it's hard to get the scale of that ship. Yeah. Uh, but there's certainly like it could be a new Star Destroyer, uh, and what we kind of seem to be seeing here is maybe charging up some kind of weapon. So it might actually be in orbit above the Starkiller base and they're testing the new weapon. Well, that's it. And I mean, I think, uh, you know, what's very evocative here is that is the, the plasma blast, uh, you know, that we saw that was very similar to charging the, the Death Star yeah. itself. Yeah. So it's a real throwback to that. Yeah. Um, and of course, there's another more, far more... <laughs> Far more pertinent uh, throwback here, which yep. is, of course, the Darth Vader mask. And he's saying, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll finish what you started. Yeah, which could be in reference to finishing Vader's work on a sort of grand, sinister level, but it could also be finishing his work as in finishing the Death Star or, or another Death Star yeah. type Eliminating the resistance, finishing the Death Star, you know, galactic domination in one way or another, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I, I really, again, I really, really like this um, this whole Darth Vader, Kylo Ren sort of strange spiritual di- yeah. dynamic. Because it yeah. is like he is obsessed with Vader. Mm. He's got this, He, you know, he just wants to continue his life's work. He's con- he's a self-styled Darth Vader. It's, it's so weird because obviously Vader had a deathbed repentance... Uh, and so we know this, yeah. And so he's modelled himself on something that is no was no longer there, yeah, which is cool. Yeah. So this is interesting. We we knew that Poe was in trouble. Um, we knew that he from from previous information that has come out, we knew that he had been. Um, we'd we'd seen him with some stormtroopers, so we mm-hmm. knew that he he did at some point get get himself into hot water. Um, but what is really revealing is just how much hot water. So here we see Kylo Ren actually torturing Poe, yeah. um, which is a you know poor Poe, but also B really shows uh, <laughs> that this guy that this guy Kylo Ren, you know, he's a pretty evil dude. 
he's he he's he may be a multifaceted character, and let's hope he is because of course Anakin was. But uh, I mean, force choking, it's just quick. It's, yeah, you know, it's a little bit painful, but it's over. <laughs> this, this looks nasty, man. This looks really, really, really and I, nasty. And I love what this leads. In, well, I don't love it, but I, it's you know, the, what this is adjacent to is really interesting too. Because yep. we have this scene of utter destruction of some kind of forest. Yeah. Uh, red tinged, of course, because everything related to Kylo Ren is pretty much red tinged. Uh, but the speculation is that that beam that we saw charging up before the Starkiller base uh, mega weapon, if you will. Uh, it's you know, maybe it's destroying Kylo Ren. Oh, sorry, uh, Poe's home planet yeah. or some some place he cares deeply about. Well, again, I mean, it goes back to that same sort of we're we're treading very similar beats to a mm. New Hope, as in a, especially. Um, you know, going back to the old Ran scene from A New Hope as well. Yep. Just that that idea of, okay, we're going to actually just destroy everything that you love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Yeah. All right. So now we get to see just what the Millennium Falcon can do. Yeah. And not only that, but it's it, it's it's on Jakku. It's like the, the downed uh, Star Destroyer. It's all these hulking wrecks of ships from the Battle of Jakku. Uh, and just weaving through through it, it's it's again, it's like this amazing setting for any kind of like uh, action sequence. Yeah, and I love, I do actually love how action heavy this trailer is. I think in the first teasers we got, you know, there was a little taste of the action, mm. but in this trailer we really get to see a lot of explosions, a lot of aerial dogfighting, and that sort of thing. Yep. And of course, once again, we're seeing um, the the new Tie Fighters, the the new ones uh, tinged with the red as well. Yeah, like I've heard that um, they added the red because obviously it makes it faster. <laughs> well, it's like racing stripes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know why the, the X-Wings don't... Uh, they should just be all red. Uh, they should be. Yeah. Um, now, we've got some narration coming up here from Ray. Uh, there were stories about what happened. Um, so, you know, this suggests that the stories of, of 30 years prior mm-hmm. had has, has basically they've, they've become mythical. Yep. And, you know, much... Well, it's a, it's a David and Goliath tale, you know. So, yeah, it, it would get uh, it, yeah, mythologized down the line. Yeah, and this idea, of course, of, of the Force and of Jedis and that sort of thing. Mm. You can imagine that it would have descended into this kind of mythology that people didn't really believe. Mm. Um, and, of course, we've got this incredible shot coming up um, with Ray and Finn, who are, who are now united, yep. um, and, and Han confirming that, yes, it is true. All of it is true. Yeah, yeah, it's true, all of it. Uh, good old, good old uh, Harrison delivering an especially mumbled um, line. <laughs> I can't wait to see whether that just persists throughout the entire film. Oh, well, I hope so. Yeah. All right, and then if that wasn't kind of cool enough, we uh, we go smoothly into the Falcon and in, in hyperspace. I mean, I I think that. There are a lot of sort of nostalgia overload moments in this trailer. Mm. But for me, I think this was the one that particularly gave me chills just because that, that hyperspace that hyperspace thing is so iconic. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I loved that shot. I loved it. Whereas I'm obviously like a huge Hayden Christensen fan. So I'm pretty just gutted that there was no nostalgia overload for me. Now, this is an interesting shot. I mean, once again, this is obviously Kylo Ren. Um, but he is here with a group of uh, people, and one can only assume that this these guys might also belong to the Knights of the Wren, yeah. uh, which was the mysterious organization that Kylo uh, belongs to and obviously take, took yep. his, his mm-hmm. name, adapted the, the, the name. Um, but they've got these wildly divergent armor sets. I mean, like... Kylo Ren has obviously styled himself After, on 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 yep. Vader, um, but these kind of I mean this one looks like Mandalorian, so it's it's it is interesting. I I'm still not quite sure who these guys are, but it's such a brief shot though. It is such a brief it's shot. Really, it's really hard. The driving rain, uh, it's kind of fading in, fading out. Yeah, no, I agree. But what I really like again about this shot is that it just uh, suggests that kind of sense of. Slightly quiet danger mm. that Kylo Ren has, you know, that the, the the his 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 saber that he built himself, mm. just hanging by his side mm. like that. Like it, it's, I think it's a very sinister shot, and I like it. Yeah. 
Yeah, very cool. So we got the new X wings in action there very briefly. I love this uh, this shot uh, the, on the battlefield of the X wings, like coming from the horizon, just yep. low above the water, just kicking up this huge spray behind them. It's such a it's such a cool shot. And where do you think this is, Lucy? Well, this is interesting. I mean, is, could that be Maz Kanata's castle that it was looks, destroyed during that battle? It looks so much like. Uh, the yeah the the ruins of a of a castle. Yeah, it? I mean, and 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 we're sort of speculate very wildly speculating at this point, but perhaps you know this was the empire tracking Han, Finn, and Ray, uh, and the battles on the jungle sort of planet is probably the planet Maz's castle is on, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe where they you know they're going to get Luke's original lightsaber. Maybe. Cool. So here we've got a, we we saw this little shot. Um, it was released previously, this little sort of sequence. Uh, but I really like this. It's, it's Poe and Finn preparing for battle. Mm -hmm. But again, I just like this. The Finn just looks so bewildered. <laughs> he just, just does not. He always looks like he's totally out of his depth. Um, we're seeing also just we're seeing some aliens in the background, uh, like the hunch one in the back right uh, behind Finn. But yeah, I, I, I'm I not quite sure what's going through Finn's head at this point because he is a stormtrooper. Yeah. He well, he was born and raised as a stormtrooper, so he's clearly adept in a battle situation. But maybe but maybe he's used to being given orders. Yeah, you know, maybe it's that simple. He's 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 switched sides. He's he's having to lead. You know, he's having to make his own decisions. Who knows? And also that kind of like friendly sort of camaraderie that you yeah. see coming from Poe. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's really bewildering yeah. to Finn, it's, especially coming from such a regimented. Um, kind of order that yep. he belonged to. I like the way he's played, though, because he does have that element of being out of his depth, but I also kind of like it how you can see him kind of stealing himself. And so there's that, there's that juxtaposition of these two kind of internal emotions, like fighting for control. Yeah, I love, I love his character already. Okay, and now we have uh, some explosions. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's 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 uh, Ray, Finn, and BB-8 running away from uh, something sinister happening on Jakku. Again, we've seen them running a lot on Jakku, so clearly they're being pursued by something, and yep. and, and they need to escape. Yep. Um, now, this is a very interesting shot. Uh, they're they're going into some sort of a hall or building with lots of flags. Um, a lot, lot of Mandalorian symbols on the flags here, including Boba Fett's um, hanging up top, uh, top front and center at the very end of the shot. And the and the 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 building itself looks so much like the castle that we've just seen destroyed in previous shots. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, that leads us to, to, to conclude that this is the entrance to Maz Kanata's uh, pirate castle. Yep. And maybe the flags are battle spoils uh, to show that the folks here, they just they shouldn't be trifled with. Which would just be awesome. So cool. Okay, so once again, we are returning to this shot that we've seen before with this robotic hand mm -hmm. touching R2. Uh, now, one thing that we should really point out at this point is that Luke Skywalker is mysteriously absent from this whole trailer. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, I, I, I'm not quite sure what the significance of that is, especially because this is the final trailer. Mm. But there have been theories uh, that this is Luke's hand, even though it's... It's not. It's a little different um, from because I mean, what we've got to go by from 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 the the action figures, the Luke Skywalker action figures, uh, is is a sort of general little look at at the hand, and it is they it looks similar, mm. although the sleeves are a little thin, and the robe itself is a little bit darker than than the leaked uh, Luke set shots. Mm. I I mean. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still. I still think it. It, it is Luke's hand, and and what we've. He's basically upgraded yep, since his yep. his his hand yep. that we saw in Jedi. Man. Yeah, well, ex exactly. But um, but at the same time, it could just be a total red herring. So this trailer hasn't really gone to any great lengths to clarify but that. But do you think that the the narration in in this sequence that says the dark side, the Jedi, they're real. That's Luke, right? Well, I like to think that it's Luke, but I'm still really curious as to why they just didn't show his face. Yeah. Okay, so where do you think that this is taking place? I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking that it might be Sullust, 
uh, with all the black, rocky, rocky sort of ashy, that this big volcanic kind of mm-hmm. planet. Because as, as we've ascertained many times before, in Star, in Star Wars world, all the planets tend to have one type of environment. Sure. Just one. Yep. Because that's how it works in a galaxy. Makes it iconic, <laughs> damn it. Far, far away. Uh, so, yeah. So, this looks like Kylo Ren's command shuttle. Yep. And interestingly enough, we have a shot of Captain Phasma. Yep. Um, and now, could she be going to meet Kylo Ren? Yeah, I mean, it looks like exactly the same location. So, uh, yeah, definitely seems that way. So, yeah, meeting of evil people. Absolutely. Both very intimidating. Okay, so this is uh, Ray, obviously very upset over someone. And we do not see who that someone is. Uh, we see brown, a brown jacket. We see loose hair. Mm. Slightly concerning, considering some of the rumours that have been flying around about a death of a certain beloved character. Mm. But I don't want to jump to conclusions so soon in proceedings. But obviously, uh, someone has died who she really, really cares about. Mm. Hopefully not any of these three. (laughs) Fingers crossed. Yeah. Uh, so here we see uh, like three of our heroes uh, realizing we think that they're not actually in trouble because they're kind of lowering. Yeah, their- so they they've got their hands up and uh, then they just slowly bring them down as if the cavalry has arrived or, yep. or, or something's come to save them. Endor two electric boogaloo. That's right. Um, and now we've got a voice over here as well that is very interesting. Uh, the force it's calling to you. Now, we think at this point that this is actually uh, Carrie Fisher as Leia. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, in all likelihood, she is talking to Ray. Again, this suggests uh, a, a, a perhaps a stronger relationship between the two mm. than, we, than we may think at this mm-hmm. point. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, we'll wait and see. So here we've got uh, another battle happening. We've got a classic Star Wars trench. Yep. Uh, we're in a snowy environment. We're not quite sure where this is taking place. Potentially Starkiller. Potentially it could be because we know that, that is, it's, it's a big snowy environment, big ice kind of mm-hmm. base. But um, at this point, we don't know. But I do like the trench. I just love I love that they've thrown in the trench in there. It's, just, it's so necessary. If you are going to build planetary weapons, you've got to have a trench. Gotta have a trench. That's just basic engineering. Space engineering. So here we have Ray looking pretty pretty cranky. This is Ray looking very angry, and she's uh, wielding a, a, a sweet sort of laser sword off here, <laughs> yeah. which I really, which I really like. But yeah, it's interesting. She's she's clearly really furious at this point, and I'm wondering. I mean, again, the environments are very different, but I'm wondering if this is at all related to the death that, that we saw, saw in, yeah. in a previous shot because, you know, there's a lot of emotion on their face mm. there. So a couple of things that are notable about this shot. I really like how 70s inspired the control panels are here. Yeah. I just, I love, I love the sort of retro look of, of the, this interior. This interior could be straight out of A New Hope. <laughs> it could be. And, and you know, also this interior looks very similar to that same bridge uh, or command deck from the previous shot where Kylo was looking outside. You reckon? Yeah, it's very similar. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's not red enough. It's not red enough, but again, a very similar aesthetic. Hmm. So clearly, this is a, a, a um, this is a first order ship. We hope. We hope. Yeah. Okay, so for many people, this this is is the money shot, um, because it's just it's a beautiful shot. I mean, it's already it already feels slightly iconic. Yep. Um, this is it's such such a brief shot of of Han and Leia. Um, Han is is comforting Leia, and that's all there is. But I just think it's absolutely beautiful, and it's just lovely to see them reunited. All right, and here we see Finn in the snowy woods. Now we've seen this shot before, um, approaching Kylo Ren, wielding. Luke's blue saber. Mm -hmm. And again, I really get from this shot that this isn't, this isn't in any way a kind of a final confrontation. Mm. I feel like Finn is completely out of his depth. He does not look confident. Kylo, I mean, we just see Kylo fr- from from behind, but he definitely comes off as the more threatening of the pair. He's just, yeah, striding forwards. And I, again, I really get this feeling that Kylo just wants that saber. 
Yeah, right. And and that's and that's where this battle is 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 heading. So as this trailer ends, we end on this kind of very spine tingling mm. note. It's the rebirth of the force. It's the rebirth of the force. And of Just this franchise. Just let it in, we hear. And we think that at this point, we think that this is Leia, again, continuing on from what she was saying earlier, and Presum- perhaps presumably. presumably talking to Rey. Yeah. Uh, so that's everything, I guess, that we can glean so far, which is actually a, a fair bit. Again, uh, a mixture of, of what we already know and some wild speculation mm. there. But as always, please leave your own speculation in the comments. Uh, and for everything else, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Stick with IGN. Thanks, Lucy. Thanks, Cam. Bye. Bye.